Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Jahan, in case you're new. Today we're going to be taking a look at the next major achievement of your life. I have five piles that I already prepared for you guys. And to help you pick, I have some tumbled rocks. So for option number one, we have that one. For option number two, we have this one. Goldstone, blue obsidian. For option number three, green obsidian. Instead of saying that one, <laughs> um, we have some tumbled clear quartz for option number four. And then for option number five, we have some tumbled peacock ore. Timestamps will be listed down below. Please make sure that you use your intuition to pick, and I hope you guys enjoy the reading. All right, so if you are drawn to this beautiful gold stone crystal, let's take a look at the next major achievement of your life. Please remember these are still general messages, so they may not resonate with you. Just ignore what you feel doesn't apply to you or your situation. So jumping in, you got your ready. Change, transformation, new creations, resurrections. I converse with awareness and death. So I feel as though your next major achievement in life is... I feel as though there's an ending of pettiness. Some of you, are, specifically, there's a need for you to watch what you say in reference to yourself and others. So I'll give you an example. Be careful how you, what you say about yourself. If you're constantly complaining or whining or saying how much you hate your life or you're this and you're that, the universe and your spirit doesn't know the difference. And that's exactly what you will be. So you need to speak positive things onto your lives. And for a very specific group of you, I feel as though there's somebody who, a little birdie, like something about the grapevine. Somebody, you say something and this person hears you and they go and twist your words to somebody else. And maybe for some of you, this could have been causing drama. Or if you're not careful, it will cause drama. So Spirit is saying you need to be careful how you speak and what you say. And also I'm hearing sometimes it's not what you say, but how you say it. It's okay to say no. It's, it's okay to enforce boundaries. But far beyond that, I feel as though you're ready. You are ready. Spirit was saying that was just like a little minor thing, a little minor message. But like I said, you are ready to move into the next phase or next chapter of your life. Some of you with this death card, the next major achievement of your life is some sort of major metamorphosis or major transformation on your part. Some of you guys have released negative, toxic habits, people, circumstances. Like you've really done a number on yourself. Like some of you guys, I'm hearing people that knew you a year ago. If they were to see you today or tomorrow, they wouldn't be able to recognize you. Some of you, if this hasn't already manifested, I see this coming. Spirit is saying you're ready. Some of you, this change and transformation is within you. It's, it's, some of you have done some sort of healing or some sort of inner work. Or some of you, if this hasn't already happened, Spirit is saying, you are ready. My throat was kind of itchy. Some of you, there's a need for you to talk, speak up, use your voice. It says you're ready. It says all your past experiences have led to this moment. You've studied and grown spiritually in many ways. There is nothing more to do. You're ready to move forward and embrace the person you know in your heart you are meant to be. So some of you, whatever it is that you've been practicing, 
trying to, you know, maybe be very skillful at. Some of you have been working on your self-mastery, your self-development. If you are a tarot reader, maybe you've been practicing, you've been like, you know, doing readings for friends and family. It's ready to say you're ready to start taking, you know, doing readings for the masses. Or maybe for some of you, maybe you've been practicing some sort of dance routine. You're ready to hit the stage and go and tour. I don't know, whatever it is, you just never know who watches these readings. Maybe some of you, you have a product or service that you've been working on. Maybe you're finally ready to launch your product or service or business and it will be successful and it will bring massive, immense change into your life. So again, whatever it is that you have been working on, even if it's you, some of you guys, maybe if it's a weight loss journey, um, some of you, this could be, um, whatever it is that you went to school for maybe if you've been in medical school or law school you're ready to be a doctor you're ready to start practicing like whatever it is that you've been doing spread is saying you are ready some of you i see you bringing forth a lot of new creations and what transformation this is the same as death you know metamorphosis it doesn't have to mean a physical death in tarot death card means the end the death of one way of being and a rebirth some of you could have even having dreams that you or someone around you died or got shot or that signifies this person, a re either you or this person you're dealing with, there's going to be some sort of change, a massive rebirth. And it's going to be for the better. I'm hearing like upgrades, high vibration, elevating. I don't want these to be too long. So let's get channeled messages to close the reading. If you would like a private reading just like this you can check out my website www.jahantaroshop.com and links are also listed below it's very saying cultivate new habits you already have messages popping out let me um give that a toss a little bit so some of you there's a need for you to cultivate new good habits some of you this is something that you've already been doing and so you're ready you're ready to step into your purpose you're ready to shine okay so we have change that requires travel there's going to be some sort of change that requires travel some of you i see making some sort of big purchase some of you have a new person coming towards you we have you're on the right path we have wish fulfillment we have stem science technology engineering or mathematics some of you work within that field or are dealing with someone like that february from whenever you watch this could be significant some of you are using the law of attraction and it's working for you so congratulations you're manifesting um, your desires and last but not least some of you have a secret admirer that's possibly coming towards you so this is what i'm picking up for you your next major achievement of your life is a major change a major transformation for the better some of you guys this major transformation will lead to a better lifestyle some of you i'm hearing financial freedom some of you if you've been overweight i see you losing the weight some of you if you've been addicted to toxic people or things i see you releasing those bad habits like i feel as though there's going to be some sort of major change so congratulations let me know if this resonated with you in the comments. Other than that, infinite abundance as always, and you guys will see me in your next reading. Bye. So if you were drawn to this option, let's take a look at the next major achievement of your life. Please remember these are still general messages, so ignore what you feel doesn't apply to you or your situation. So jumping right in, you guys got within the next few weeks, I honor animals with reverence, harmony, calm, peace, recovery, bliss, nine of swords okay so i feel as though something that has been possibly stressing you a while keeping you up at night giving you a lot of fear anxiety worry nightmares possibly for some of you within the next few months from whenever you happen to watch this because remember this is a timeless reading i feel as though there's going to be peace calm and a sense of bliss re restored back into your life the swords deals with your thoughts. So I definitely feel as though some of you guys have been worried, sick about something or someone. But I feel as though within the next few months, you're going to be experiencing a lot more harmony and peace in your life. Some of you guys with this, I honor animals with reverence. It's either you have a cat, you're going to end up getting a pet, or your spirit, you have like a spirit animal that is around you or supporting or guiding you. Some of you even, this could be in a dream state. So maybe in your dreams, you could be dreaming of serpents or birds or cats. Some of you guys, you've dealt with a lot of people who are envious of you. Or there could be a snake around you. 
that spirit is going to expose that just could be for some of you but i definitely feel as though within the next few months the next major achievement that's coming towards you is going to bring you a lot of harmony some of you this next achievement in your life is reaching a point of harmony because maybe before that you were just always um in a constant state of anguish or anxiety or fear ridden and for some of you maybe you know if it doesn't resonate with you it doesn't resonate with you but man you i don't think you'd understand unless you've been in that situation where like you're so you have you're like you have so much anxiety that you can't even go in public like some people don't have to deal with that so being able to you know overcome that is a major life achievement let me see within the next few months what this is yeah some of you guys i just feel as though you're the next major achievement of your life is you getting into a better mental space because you got to think about it this way everything starts with your mind this is a random ass example but i don't know if anybody watches my 600 pound life like no joke you know how like when when they first start off on their diet and their workouts it never works until the doctor sends them to psychotherapy which sometimes I, I don't get it like why don't you just send them there first so that they can like get their mind right and then go on the weight loss journey as opposed to starting them off but i guess you know he wants them to take accountability and like i don't know but i digress but what i'm trying to say is everything starts with your mind like me personally for so many years i was overweight and people would be like oh you're fat and you eat too much and but people didn't realize that well maybe shit i was fat because i was depressed or maybe i was fat because of whatever reason mentally or emotionally you know what i mean and so i had to really fix that mental problem that psychological problem i had to really go within and once i did that it's almost like losing weight is easier it's like you want to work out you want to eat healthier you know what i mean so that's just an example i feel as though like even think of books like Think and Grow Rich. It all starts with your mind. So once you start with, with getting your mind right, everything else falls in place. So again, the next major achievement of your life is you being able to get your mind in a better mental space. I hope that makes sense. Uh, let's see. I wanna, I'm trying to find within the next few weeks to read to you guys. And then I'm gonna pull some channel messages. Oh wait, you guys got months. So yeah, it says, in the next few months, what you are asking about will occur. Divine timing means that other people's free will choices and are also also involved, excuse me. So keep the faith while all the pieces of, the, of this puzzle come together and this situation resolves itself beautifully. So again, whatever it is that you have been worried about having any anxiety or fear surrounding this could be situations within your love life within money within your home situation within your family whatever it is that you're facing work whatever it's saying that it will resolve itself beautifully and you already have the harmony card calm peace recovery and bliss will be uh, restored back into your life some of you this is going to happen within the next few months from whenever you happen to watch this video so just have patience some of you with the nine, it could happen within the next nine months from having, uh, watching this. And also because of like the nine months, some of you could be finding out you're pregnant. So having a child would be the next major achievement of your life. And because you've worked on your inner healing and your mental state, you'll be in a better position to be a parent to someone else. You know what I mean? You'll be in a position to be a parent to a new life. Whether this new life is a new baby a hu in human form or a new baby in a pet form or even sometimes our business is our baby, right? Some of you, if it, pregnancy doesn't relate to you, literally it could just be you giving birth to some sort of new business product or service and you'll be in a better mental space to be able to run your shit. It is what it is. All right, so let's get some channel messages to close the reading. I do offer personal readings just like this. Links are down below, www.jahantaroshop.com. Oh my God, you guys got so many. I didn't mean to get this many, but I'll go through them really quick. We have unexpected change. So you have an unexpected change coming. Spirit is saying, avoid negative people. There's going to be a raise or some sort of money increase coming your way. So that's a nice achievement. Look, nine months. You can't make this up. We have sudden change. There's going to be some sort of unexpected sudden change. It says this situation requires time and patience. So if you have patience out of nowhere, there's going to be some sort of change. Something about December could be significant from whenever you see this. 
So next December, learn a new skill. Spirit is saying learn a new skill, research more. So expand your consciousness, gain more knowledge. Something about Aries season could be significant. March 21st through April 20th or in Aries. Some of you are getting a promotion that will end up making you more money. We have urgent communication. Some of you guys have urgent communication coming in from someone. Some of you guys, if you're into the law of attraction, it's working. I see you manifesting your desires, so congratulations. Some of you guys are going to be faced with some sort of major decision, possibly in October. There's going to be a secret revealed. Some of you, a cycle is going to complete and there's going to be a new beginning. Facial hair, mustache. Some of you have facial hair and mustache or dealing with someone like that. We have a move and relocation on the horizon. We have blessings. Dope. It says this situation requires time and patience. And last but not least, this is next year. So whatever, this is probably going to manifest for some of you anywhere from nine months to a whole year. So just have patience. But in the meantime, just continue to focus on yourself, mastery, your self-development, and just overall making yourself a better version of yourself. You know, nobody's perfect. So try not to be too hard on yourself. Let me know if this made any sense in the comments. Other than that, I wish you guys infinite abundance always, and you'll see me in your next reading. <laughs> you'll see me in your next reading. Why can't I talk? Oh my God, bye. <laughs> All right, so if you were drawn to this option, let's take a look at the next major achievement of your life. Remember, these are still general messages, so just ignore what you feel doesn't apply to you or your situation. So jumping right in, for you, we got unlikely, I do good, beauty, attractive, cosmetic, vanity, makeup, five of cups. So it appears that something that you may have really wanted, something or someone that you wanted didn't work out or pan out how you wanted it to pan out. This could be a relationship or like I said, a situation. Spirit is saying moving forward is unlikely is going to pan out. This person that you've been pining for or wanting is unlikely going to act how they should act or how you need them to act. Some of you guys, you know this and it's a hard truth. It's something that you've had to admit to yourself and it looks like even though there's like a teardrop, she's still beat, okay? She still has her book, she still is working on her third eye like she's still doing good for herself even though it hurts as much as it hurts you to move on from this person or situation because it's unlikely to happen you know that you're attractive and you will ultimately attract even better or this is what spirit is telling you and to clarify it says unlikely this situation you asked about is unlikely to occur as you're imagining it. There may be a different version of events that will take place, or it may be that what you're asked about is simply not in your highest, greatest good. Place your focus on an alternative possibility. Open your eyes to different opportunities. Be willing to experience a unique and more uplifting outcome than what you had planned for yourself. Some of you guys, something that you want or someone that you want, you think they would be good for you, but it would be really detrimental to you because there are certain hidden factors. So for instance, maybe you might see this person who's really, really attractive, but their shadow side is really abusive and you, you would regret getting with this person just as, as an example, or maybe they have some sort of toxic addiction that is, you know, hidden. Or maybe you're wanting to travel to a different country, but you little do you know that in that country, you know, this uh, certain things that you're accustomed to, it's not going to be that. Like, it's just going to, you, you would just be miserable and what you plan wouldn't even work out. Like, I feel as though it says there are versions of events that will take place or, um, they mo excuse me, there may be a different version of events that will take place. Like, I feel as though what you're hoping or what you, what you're expecting, your expectations, I feel as though it'll go all the way left than what you, what you expect. So this is ultimately protecting you because what you want or who you want ultimately isn't of your highest and greatest good. So your next major achievement, I see you walking away or letting go of a situation or circumstance. Some of you with this beauty, attractive cosmetic, vanity and makeup, I see you doing some sort of business in, in relation to beauty, getting into the beauty industry, something relating to fashion, aesthetics, cosmetics, vanity. 
some of you are also with this book in her hand i see you gaining some sort of knowledge whether you are graduating or going back to school or if this is something that you you're self-taught i see you whatever this knowledge is or whatever this is will really help i'm hearing advance it'll really help you elevate or progress in life some of you guys you think all is lost with those three spilt cups but if he can just look behind him there's still two more it may be bent but it's not broken okay so let's get channeled messages to close your reading I do offer video readings just like this, personal readings, www.jahantaroshop.com. Everything will be linked below. All right, let's see. It says distant future. Some of you guys, this major achievement of your life is going to happen or manifest in the distant future. Spirit is saying right now, just focus on working on your personal development. This major achievement of your life will happen in the distant future after you've done some more personal development. So there still needs to be um, some work to do, some shadow work, some healing. You have good news and love and money coming your way, ultimately. Your angels are around you. They're supporting you. Something about Sagittarius season could be significant from whenever you happen to view this. This is a timeless reading, November 23rd through December 21st. Or you could be a Sagittarius. We have congrats and kudos are going to be in order for you pretty soon. So continue, just continue to work on your personal development. Some of you guys will end up attracting multiple suitors because you have elevated so much. Spirit is saying, in the meantime, pick up a new hobby. We have November could be significant from whenever you see this. And last but not least, Spirit is saying level up your skills. So this is what I'm picking up for you. I hope this makes sense. Let me know in the comments if any of this applied to you or your situation. Other than that, I wish you guys infinite abundance as always. You guys will see me in your next reading. Bye. All right, so if you were drawn to this option, let's take a look at the next major achievement of your life. Remember, these are still general messages for a ton of people, so just ignore what you feel doesn't apply to you or your situation. Jumping right in, we have romance, I care for the earth, heartache, pain, disappointments, delays, and stagnancies, five of swords. Okay, so I know at first glance it kind of looks iffy with the heartache and the five of swords, but hear me out. This is amazing. First and foremost, if you're watching this, I feel like you're an earth angel. You were born to care for the earth be it spiritually metaphysically or just maybe on a mundane level maybe you literally do something in reference in reference to environmental services or the earth whatever i'm even hearing sanitation like whatever it is that you do it helps the planet it helps the earth but other than that um i feel as though you've had a really rough time there's been a lot of heartache there's been a lot of pain disappointments delays and stagnancies and love money just in life in general with the five of swords this represents jealousy pettiness conflict strife animosity winning at all costs having to walk away from a situation where at where it's a lose-lose and the end nobody really wins but i see that ending i see that I see you being being able to overcome all of this pain, the disappointments, the delays and stagnancies. Some of you specifically, this could be in reference to your romantic life. Maybe you've been single for some time just because, you know, too many failed relationships. You had a lot going on, not in a positive way, but I really see that changing. Some of you guys, I feel as though you're going to end up getting the romance of a lifetime, literally. It says a very important relationship is about to enter or has recently entered your life. This is the romance you've been waiting for. Like all partnerships, there may be ups and downs, but don't let that deter you or shake your confidence. Have faith that love is coming into your life to stay. Your question was about a current relationship. You can, ex or excuse me, it says if your question was about a current relationship, you can expect the parties to become closer to one another. Past disagreements will fade away and trust will grow. 
all relationships have peaks and valleys. This card indicates an upward movement to a new level of dedication and intimacy. So the next major achievement of your life, for some of you could be an engagement, marriage, or a form of recommitment to one another. Some of you guys, I also noticed that she's pregnant. Some of you guys, the next major achievement of your life is finding out that you're pregnant. Some of you guys are literally going to find out that you're pregnant with twins, okay? And again, these are general messages, so, you know, if it doesn't apply, it doesn't apply. But this is what I'm picking up for you. Again, some of you, this is happening after you've been through hell and back with the Five of Swords. You're an empath. You're an earth angel. Some of you could literally be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But either way, I mean, uh, either way, I feel as though um, that's changing. This is being gifted to you by the angels. And there's a man and a woman angel. So some of you, I feel as though uh, you're being connected or you will be connected to a divine counterpart or a soulmate after heartache. And what I was saying is because you're an empath, because you're an earth angel, you know, not to say people don't get hurt. I feel like it just, it just hurt you even harder just because you're such a sensitive being. But the yoke is being broken. Some of you guys are, you know, uh, with the yoke being broken, I'm hearing generational curses or certain, you know, curses through your bloodline or lineage. I see you breaking them. So this is this is dope. This is this is amazing. Let's get channel messages to close the reading. I do offer personal video readings just like this. www.johanteroshop.com. Links for that are below. Whoop, don't want to get too many. That should be enough. Okay, let's see what else you need to know to close your reading. Ooh, viral moment, overnight fame. The next major achievement of your life is you're going to get some sort of viral moment or overnight fame from something that you do or product that you offer. Something about, like, you're going to go viral. Some of you are going to be seen as desirable or being seen as desirable or attracting someone desirable. Short-term change. There's going to be a short-term change. It says someone is watching you. So someone has their eye on you. But what did I say? Ending up toxic relationships and habits. So you guys are ending toxic relationships and habits. December could be significant or relevant for whenever you watch this. We have blessings. Blessings on blessings on blessings. Beautiful. And last but not least, dreams. Some of you, there's a need for you to pay attention to your dreams. And I see your dreams coming true. So that's dope. So this is what I'm picking up for you. Let me know in the comments if any of this was your storyline. Other than that, I wish you guys infinite abundance as always. And you guys will see me in your next reading. Bye. All right. So if you were drawn to this option, the peacock or let's take a look at the next major achievement of your life. Please remember, these are still messages for a ton of people. Um, so with that in mind, just ignore what you feel doesn't apply to your, your situation. So you got there's something better for wands, love, romantic feelings, mutual attraction. Someone is interested in dating you and I follow my inner guidance. So I feel as though there could be something that you want. It could be like a job opportunity or a person or I don't know, something that you could have really wanted. Spirit is saying there's something better. Some of you specifically, this could be in reference to love. Maybe there's someone that you had your eye on, someone possibly from your past that you've been wanting. Spirit is saying that there's someone better for you. Spirit is saying, follow your inner guidance. With the four of wands, I feel as though ultimately you're going to end up taking things to the next level. There's going to be a potential for you to take things to the next level with someone. Where I see you guys moving in. This person is going to be super supportive, super loving. Four of Wands sometimes can represent a divine union. Some of you, I see you buying a home with this person or again, moving in with this person. If that doesn't resonate with you, remember these are for a ton of people. So picking up different storylines for some of you, the next major achievement of your life is you moving home on your own or are you buying your own home? Some of you, maybe you already had an opportunity to get a home or a spot or something, or it could even be a business, but something fell through or it didn't pan out exactly how you want it to. And this is because Spirit is saying there's something better. Heaven has something wonderful in mind for you. However, it's not the same thing you have planned. Ask yourself what you would rather have. 
the very thing you're asking for or something that would make you much more happier, much more fulfilled. Sometimes the divine has joys in store for us that we could never imagine on our own. Open your mind and heart to the possibilities that you deserve even more than you're asking for. Trust your angels to guide you in new and exciting directions. So again, <laughs> what the universe creator is about to bring you, what your angels are about to bring you, creators like your angels take that to so and so go give it to them like it's not even in your consciousness like you it's something or someone you didn't even know you needed and it's going to be way better it's going to exceed any of your prior expectations fair to saying right now just focus on following your inner guidance because it looks like her third eye is hella open so some of you guys you could be very uh very spiritual maybe you could be tarot readers yourself psychic Spirit is, saying, uh, Spirit is saying, focus on that aspect of yourself because eventually there's going to be something better that is brought into your life or someone better that is brought into your life that you're going to love even more. Some of you, again, this is in reference to your love life, romantic feelings, mutual attraction. Someone is interested in dating you. You have someone who you didn't expect. Maybe you expected that you're going to end up with one person, but Spirit is saying, nope. We have someone way different, totally different for you, way better, way more attractive. This person's going to love you even more. The person that you've been wanting, they have their person, but you have yours. And, and this new person is going to be a better fit for you. And so for some of you, this next major achievement of your life is, you know, finally moving in with someone, getting engaged, getting proposed to, getting married, buying your first home. Some of you guys, maybe you've been through failed relationships or failed marriage. But Spirit is saying there's something better. Whatever didn't work out in the past, whether it's love, money, whatever didn't work out in the past, Spirit is saying is because there's something better coming in for you. Let's get channeled messages. Some of you, something about the number four could be significant. Four, 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 four days, four weeks, four months from when you see this. All right, so to close the reading, let's get channel messages. I do offer video personal readings just like this, www.johantaroshop.com. Links are down below. Okay, it says a cycle complete. So you guys are on your way to ending some sort of cycle in your life. Spirit is wanting you to read more, read a book every day write more write a book i'm hearing something about next year could be significant so for whenever you happen to see this so if you're watching this in 2020 2021 is going to be a very pivotal year for you if you're watching this in 2021 2022 is going to be a very pivotal year for you and so on and so forth some of you have a financial payment coming your way A new cycle starts again. So yeah, definitely new beginnings. Spirit is saying you're going to end up turning a hobby into a business. And this is going to be a major accomplishment or a major achievement in your life. So if you have a hobby, something that you're really good at, turn that shit into a business. Something about August could be relevant. We have sudden change. And then last but not least, we have social media. So this is what I'm picking up for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if any of this was part of your story. Other than that, I wish you guys infinite abundance as always. Thank you so much for your continued support. And you guys will see me in your next reading. Bye.